sigh and sh shift the sleeping child to make room for herself. The chef's apprentice emerged from the kitchen and whisked the anthropologist's dish away. He appeared dismayed by the untouched puree. But what if something were to happen to the expert's son and he never made it up the stairs at all? What if there was a sudden knock at the door and despite all of his 11-year-old reading level books and articulants, his seven-year-old naivete inspired him to rise from the encyclopedia and investigate. She had told him not to open the door if someone rang the bell under any circumstance, and if the bell persisted, he was instructed to bark like the most vicious dog he could imitate. But what if his seven-year-old mind was able to rationalize some exception? He was, after all, a stickler for details, and she had said not to respond to the bell but nothing concerning the knock. And what if the shadow on the other side of the door were able to demonstrate some sort of familiarity or kinship with her son, causing him to abandon his all fours position and menacing growl and wrap his tiny fingers around the, black, the brass lock? There was evil in the world, regardless of what the optimists might say. She stared at the meat on her plate and imagine bits of her son floating in the gray current of the river. Harold Glee's One Fruit Salad, Gala Fen's Apple Yellow Green Dye, Whose Desire Change Curves to Fen Stalks, Little Robins and Sparrows Roost About, Lay Eggs, Densely Flaked by High Quill, Fire Person's Mediocrity Limits Marble of Reason at a Stretch, Yet communicates salivating. For Mercury, no better curse, returning the favor. Who has etiology for such crooked throats? Up! Ah, circular gilt bags windy fields away. Scarce. Crown cans at Leary Lounge can crowns. Brought dimp as brass cattle throws. Slip as they flawed, mazy, trepidatious, Jenkins envied, partiers wary, scuttling, bledding, fits and stops about town, lamp over tresses, the bone casts, ensnared leery by Ectrovia's biodiverse waterside ordinance. Now, when I was Findley, I got to see what you did. You creepy little freak. You brought a mummy's voice back to life and made it scream. <laughs> the answers of life are its treats to you. So long as lampoons sting unhappy with oatmeal substance, day to day disgusting. Clock reading finished. Among the drafters of Maisie's plea, spare Glivered's vocals. How many chants must febrile, unrelation, autonomize, bridge road trek with love's crush? Traversial Partitia, <laughs> Maisie played for keeps, giddy the freezing passengers, road trek grub as heard on cantanker, prescient good, 
votive tanker hot in bed CD. And also, Viserio's chalky... <laughs> And also, Viserio's chalky Slamager CD, available clamped banker scowl. Service of icy pastel discs littering a sidewalk. Out front, Bedwell's like box, repellent house of glass, meek Ictrovia's rave, turbulent jellyfish, downright plastic quilts of the sea. After they got screamed at, Mackie, alarm chess. Pint a pound, dime a duck, such I caved. <laughs> When you're willing to sell out, the quarter ugly flipped over at Leary Lounge to amuse the churlish, the dreaded Kilvany, while a waiter shouts, bloody peck down thy beautiful larynx. The mansions of House of Glass and Leary Lounge encountered skeletons, glaring squirrel clientele. Rats large enough to fit a commoner's hand, as broadly as a city feeds police. Vault organic seating space, centralizing coat paint, played to demonize the square sky above, and desperately house skeletons. Yet never have I, the Hogan, accomplished friend, Maisie, Daisy, Dale, Kilvenny, Jenkins, Trepidatious, Chicken True, Dropsy, Dale, Daisy Lee, Chicken World, Disgusting Music, Inoperable Scud Lane. Sustaining feverish income, my superiors relieved, down the walls and carpeted wooden floor, onto fens and whistles, road trip grub, mm, magic burn. I'd never seen or known crawly deviant sucking the life off sails of Manhattan, overboard the wicked wind guiding the ship clambered over angry scuttling to horrid base, mossy tones, crossing the devil's smile, spy, conditions change, I'll change your ire. Dale's gonna have to scale back to get them to brass cattle brogue, poking at the free fire, challenge free fire, the night sky, free the night sky, undo the crawly character, glimmering jaw in the safety net, goose. That's an offensive tenor for confronting stars, and why you're losing, Gliverds, peep. Two arches gunk tomato radish, carrot lettuce salad. A story about grout? <laughs> I saw you no longer even in my dreams. Far end of the bridge, vanished gray, gray, gray. Stress in the foreground. Nonetheless, spy and trusted. I ducked into corner and loaded. Don't notice the rest of this. I don't like this trepidatious. She sidles up next to me, orders a cold goose and scours leery. Drapes cello like intonation, humbles, life soaked its convivials. We must pass the time, trepidatious whispered, singing accordingly, haunted by the cemetery toxic scale. Jealous claimant, oft you inspire fault lines, wilted glances. Sand lawn looks down. Eminent promoters bless once demoted tricks. Terrarium cowers stock wooden symbols. Terrarium cowers down green 
So give up the brittle, oh god. Give up, give up your brittle sky. Woo! Outlander, faces chock full of Maisie's dull inheritance. I envy your wit, you are equal to comfortable lizard. In terms of the voice we'll inherit to plumb, the cow and slay Bedwell's like box, who creeps accordingly. Whose bag of jealous tricks there to play. The sun will shine and neighbor. Birds stop clouds at night. Vibrant play tremors out. Maisie's plea fitted to rebellion among drafters' fatal road trek grumbled. A stride conceded bossy removal. Voice printed screams, glivered. Time has passed. Maisie, pass apart. Dale, forward your needling. And Hogan, go uncharted. <laughs> Hope you get the work done and done well. Um, it's such a pleasure to be here with you all tonight. And, um, I'm really grateful to Alyssa for hosting us all and to uh, Coleman. Uh, Marie and Paige for their incredible readings. Um, I'd like to introduce Coleman Dews um, sort of retroactively. Um, um, Coleman Dews, as I understand, is from Texas um, and um, uh, his work has been published in Blazing Stadium, Word for Word, and other fine online publications that you can find simply by Looking it up. Um, thank you. <laughs>